So the work is na to see or look, and na is actually a local Eora word that means to see or look. So the work itself is a site-specific work. So it's looking very specifically at the site of the MCA. It's a, it's a work that's looking at um, the traditional owners of this site, so the um, Gadigal people uh, of the Eora Nation, and, um, and it's looking specifically at their language and also looking at a very particular moment in time when, you know, the world's oldest living culture sort of collided with um, the British Empire. There was one particular um, person who played quite an interesting role in those formative years, which was um, Lieutenant William Dawes, um, which of course is what Dawes Point is named after. So Dawes Point is, is the point that the MCA is actually located on. And um, he was stationed up, uh, up on the hill with a small observatory and his job was to observe the stars and chart the weather conditions. Um, and in, in many ways he was quite an isolated person out there. And in that isolation, he was lucky enough to sort of engage with a number of local Eora people who um, told him stories about country, who engaged with him, had a dialogue with him. I was interested in comparing the, the, the way you look at stars and the way they move into, into to language. And, you know, each star perhaps represents a word and um, as they move across the sky they start talking and they start telling you things and they start communicating and they start connecting up with each other and, and that really is the idea of, of drawing the parallel between stars and language and, and, and it's all sort of centering around this one particular person, William Dawes. Out of the two notebooks um, that William Dawes made from the local language, it's the first word that he looks at. It's the first word on, on the page that he starts to talk about. You know, that very simple idea of to see or look and coming at this, the world from different cultural parameters, to see or look is a really important idea to circulate on. And, you know, it really contextualizes itself within the gallery context. It's all about perspectives. It's all about people's positions and the way they engage with sites and places and people.